Hey, I'm Kathy Little, and I'm going to be telling you today about um, making recycled art out of Coke bottles, um, Coke cans, Sprite cans, all different kinds of things. So, what I first start with is a plywood shape, and it's just um, scrap wood. This already had a coating of white paint on it. So what I do then is I take one of the uh, empty cans that have been already washed out and I just use a pair of scissors. Scissors that I'm not going to use on anything else now since I'm cutting metal, metal. But it does just work with regular scissors. So I cut um, around the top and the bottom and I wind up with a shape that's a rectangular shape where I can cut some strips and then I use a tab shape where it's rounded on one edge and where I can use all the different assortment of colors for the shading that I'm trying to achieve. As far as the eye goes, this is, um, this is off a soda bottle. So this is Mountain Dew and I've used a bandsaw and I've cut off a section of it and that's how I, what I used for the lizard's eye. This eye right here was um, off of, I think it was an applesauce container. And I did buy a little button eye to go on here because I wanted the turtle looking like it was looking up. But I inserted a button into the hole here so that it looks like an eye. Um, so what I do is I just start to paint using the colors. Um, even though I'm not painting, I'm just collaging down different pieces. So I, I use a really good glue in the set E6000. Um, so it's going to adhere to the uh, plywood and the metal. But it is a process. It doesn't just stick by itself. You have to keep pressing it down and you get glue on your fingers. So I've been working at this turtle here for about, I guess an hour, two hours maybe cutting the shapes and now I'm starting to glue down and I'm, I keep having to press to um, once the glue gets a little tacky it starts to stick a little better but I'm going to be taking these pieces um, down to Martin in Haiti and I'm going to be putting them on a mural in a wall in a school there for the children I'm going to also be looking around their environment and looking at the different uh, recycled materials that I can sh help them think about art in a different way with the, some of the materials that are readily available to them. And I'm really looking forward to it and just wanted to let you see the process it, it's involved in make, making and creating a, um, a really beautiful piece of artwork out of cast off um, cans and bottles. So think about what you have around that you can use to make art in the for to make to help your surroundings be beautiful and happy and um, you'll be saving the environment too. So find out more about me. I live here in Hall County in Georgia and uh, you can find me on the internet. Uh, clittleartist.com or on Facebook C Little Artist Studio. So thank you and I hope you enjoyed seeing how I make these uh, recycled art and folk art. Thanks!
Okay, here goes. Here's our mural completed. We have the pieces that we did down at the studio. The sun, the waves, the lizard, the turtle, and the pig. That would be a conchon, right? Julian, we have our verse, conchon. It looks wonderful. The children loved making their handprints and we've cut them out. We used the on-site rock. We used the mortar they were using for the outside of the stucco. It really turned out just as I had imagined.